Well, I'm in Milwaukee, uh, just outside of Milwaukee, and all these beautiful flowers are outside of my brother-in-law George and my sister Margie Lou's house, and I'm coming to you from their home for your morning cup of inspiration. Hi, uh, I don't have my regular mug, but this mug says, peace, love, and joy. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about love. I was rereading Hurricane of Love, and two stories really popped out that made Beth a hurricane of love. She just always was looking out for others. One story is we were at a wedding in our mid-20s, and we were with a bunch of friends. Everyone's having a great time. But Beth noticed a little old man, maybe 80 years old, sitting alone. No one was talking to him, and it really bothered her. So she asked everyone at the table if we'd mind if she brought him up to our table. We all said, sure. The next thing we know, she's helping him up from his chair. She sits him down right next to her and made him the center of attention. At the end of the night, he hugged Beth. He had tears in his eyes. He was so grateful for what she did. And that was her. She just loved to give. Another story was one of the few chemotherapy appointments that I had to miss. She called me afterwards, was all excited. She met this new chemotherapy nurse and she said this nurse works uh, with her church to help people get off the streets to find homes for homeless people and she noticed Beth's Ugg boots and she said oh they look wonderful and Beth told her how warm and comfy they were and she said you should get a pair well the nurse said oh I wish I could afford it but my husband's not working right now he's disabled and I really couldn't spend the money so I knew what was coming Beth was going to ask me could we buy this lady a pair of Ugg boots? And I said, but how would we know her size? And Beth says, oh, eight and a half C. She already had it, had it written down. And when we gave this nurse those Ugg boots, you would have thought we gave her a million dollar home. She was so grateful. And you know, that brought Beth so much joy. She was always teaching me that it's better to give than to receive. So those stories are in Hurricane of Love. If you haven't picked up a copy yet, it's still available on Amazon and at hurricaneoflove.com. I want to close by reading some verses that Beth actually wrote to me in a Bible uh, that she gave to me. It's found in 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 8, and this describes Beth. It says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Do you have that kind of love? The kind of love my late wife Beth had? The kind of love that Jesus had and commands us to have? We need to love others. We need to put them first above ourselves. Well, that's something to think about. God bless you. I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.